seven years ago, connectivity was hit or miss. With internet going up or down consistently in the classroom, having that tool for online resources was hard. I would go online and I would download those resources, put them on flash drives. Here's, here's PowerPoint, here's Photoshop, here's Final Cut Pro. The kids could then put those in the computer until internet came back up. Connectivity opens up doors for my students. The change was drastic. It was my goal to put computer coding in every high school in Arkansas and make computer science a priority in our schools. But we cannot do that without high-speed broadband connectivity. The first decision I made was that we're going to have a statewide network that we're going to put money into. We're going to utilize uh, federal resources to have connectivity in every school in Arkansas. It didn't take long to realize how big a challenge it was. There was a necessity for good partnerships, working with the state agencies and then with the private sector to take it to the school. For a small rural state, it's an expensive project, but there's not been a better investment with a better return. It's very rewarding whenever you see the students being able to pursue their passion in technology or computer science or robotics. And the other part that's exciting to me is to see teachers have the tools that they want to meet the needs of students. I always had these ideas of how I'm gonna change the world using the internet. And so this year, taking my computer science class, I'm making sure that our community-based instruction students get their way of life through technology. Who knows what the world would be if all of the students, not just in North Little Rock or not just in Arkansas, but all over the United States had access to the internet and the technology that we had here. Connectivity allows the kids to take those risks and chance and learn something that's life-altering, life-changing. In our rural schools, they see the importance of computer science as well as in our urban larger schools. And that equality in education and access makes all the difference, and that is the return on the investment. I would encourage all the state leaders that are looking at upgrading their broadband connectivity in the schools to get after it. It's not just foundational for our schools, but it'll be even better for our communities.